Welcome to Excel is Simple and today let's learn how your task tracker can be modified to give you various calculations in filtered view. We'll also see how your task tracker can highlight the maximum and minimum values using conditional formatting. So let's get started. Now in this particular database I got year, person's name, the month of that particular year and then the spend in dollars. Now I want that every time I filter the list I get the spend in dollars, I want the sum of it. Let's add a few rows at the top of this particular table. Now what all do I want? I want sum, I want max, I want minimum and I want average. So for sum I'm going to do equal to subtotal bracket start and you can see all the options that are available over here and their number as well the function number which is average count count a max minimum and I want sum so the sum one is 9 comma and then I'll select this entire selection remember when you have to use subtotal function you should be selecting the entire column or the entire array to make sure that every time it's filtered you get the correct result my columns are till 281 so I selected E6 colon E281 similarly if I want max I'll do equal to subtotal then I'll look for the function number for max which is 4 comma and then this entire and for minimum I'll do equal to subtotal minimum which is 5 comma and then the table average equal to subtotal 1 comma and then this table if you want to round it you can round it also from here or you can reduce the number of zeros in your view by just pressing this particular one a few times let's say I want it to one place of decimal so I pressed it these many times so the average is 53.8 now let's say I want uh, to filter out the year 2019 you can see that as soon as 2019 has been selected all of these have changed as per the selection now if I want to let's say select the month of April here you go you have the result for the month of April 2019 and as and when I keep changing my filter criteria my results are also going to change accordingly let's say I select August now so here are your results you can see that how useful this subtotal function is and it's going to help you a lot you're filtering a list and you want to visualize the results over there now let's say I want to take it a step up and I want to also have the maximum and the minimum highlighted over here in the table it's pretty simple I'll have to do the conditional formatting of this particular table before doing the conditional formatting I'll make sure that I remove the filters so that each and every cell in this particular table has the conditional formatting now first of all now let's, let's say my the conditional max formatting from results I want to put normally green what color I do is that in order to add minimum one, formatting I, I want to add a red color. cell that satisfies the condition to make sure that the conditional formatting is applied correctly so in this particular case it is this particular cell so I'll go to conditional formatting new rule first of all I'll select from here classic and here I'll select only format cell that contains and then cell value equal to and I know that this cell value should be equal to the max value which is this one and the formatting I'll change to a background color of green okay and okay so now I know that this particular cell is formatted I'll just copy the format from here and paste it in the entire column Now I would also want the other columns to be highlighted every time a condition is satisfied. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use another conditional formatting over here using a formula. So it will be this particular cell and here I'll use conditional formatting, new rule, here classic and then use a formula and then I'll do this particular cell is equal to the max value which is 99. And from here, I'll remove the dollar from 119, customized format, add a green color over here, OK, and OK. Now, once this is done, I can copy it and paste it on the other cells as well. I'll then copy the format of these three cells 
and paste them in the rest of the cells in columns B, C, D for the table. Alright, now that you have done the conditional formatting, let's see how it looks like. Let's say I select 2018 from here and from here I select the month of February. So you can see that the max value has been highlighted. Similarly, please try out for the minimum conditional formatting yourself. Now that you're done with the maximum and minimum conditional formatting, let's try to see if we're getting the results for both of them. Now from the year, let's say I select 2020 and the month I select is April. Wow, see how easy it is to use these particular conditional formats and subtotals to quickly analyze your data. I would recommend practicing them and using them instead of relying on pure tables for which you have to flip tabs to look for data and analytics. This method is for sure a very easy and fast way and subtotal function is surely going to help you a lot in analyzing your data in trackers, task trackers or any other to-do list.